Alright guys, welcome to a new video and today I'm showing you how to root, unroot in fact, the Samsung Galaxy Brand, which one, which is currently running on Android 4.4 KitKat on my device. And today I'm showing you how to unroot this device back to Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2. Now I actually had many problems with the Android 4.4, which I'm currently running, and the Android L, which was <coughs> earlier on this device. Now I'm just going to show you how the small procedure for unrooting this phone. Now all you need to do is download three files, three three printed files. That is, the one is the Orden version 3.09, the second is the um, the triangle of AAPK which I will give you in the description, and the third is the ROM, I mean the stock firmware that you can download from sammobile.com and I will provide you with all of the links. Now this is the triangle of A. This is already installed on my device and just going to this and from here I'm going to recent my flash counter. So as you can see my current status is 1, counter 1. So I'm going to reset flash counter and it's resetting and the flash counter has been reset if the reset does not exist and all that stuff. So just going to reboot this phone now into the normal reboot as you can see or I'm just going to wait. So it's turned off. I'm just going to take out it and I'm going to boot it into the Samsung download mode and here we go so it's gonna ask us I'm gonna press the volume up key so as you can see current bin is Samsung official system status is official so now is the thing I need to flash the download into Odin now I'm just gonna do one thing I'm just gonna uh, connect it to my PC and we'll follow the procedure so just to avoid the deleting of my data I'm just gonna take out the memory card here it comes just gonna put in the battery back inside and just gonna boot it into the download mode once it's downloaded in, into the download mode I'm just gonna pick up my wire and just gonna put it into my wire just wait Here comes the wire. I'm just gonna plug it in. Here. Let's see. Okay, right, that was it. So it's now connected to my PC, and as you can see, the system status and all that shit is actually official. Now moving on to Odin. I'm just gonna open Odin into my PC. And first of all, this is the download file. Here it is. Can just get it. Just opening Odin. This is the download file. It's gonna go come into a package of i nine zero eight two xx and all that stuff. So just what I'm gonna do is I am going to open this file, and I all I need to do is extract this, like extract this right here, and click on OK. And after it's extracted. I actually need to flash from the PDA and I'll continue once it's done extracting. So I've actually completed the extraction of the file and it is here the 1.50 gigabyte file as you can see and I'm just gonna use Odin now and I'm just preparing the final steps for the installation of the firmware and as you can see my phone is still in this the download mode and now make sure that your pc recognizes your this as id com this is connected to com 9 and make sure that auto reboot and f dot reset time is checked now go to pda and just select the file my file is right here here it is so it's gonna take a little bit of time to actually lo uh, load the pda file and it's currently loading the pda file there you go it's just currently loading the PDA and this is the only thing that takes time excluding the flashing so we just gotta wait so yeah the rooting has just started I mean the flashing has just started 
Now you can see here the modem and stuff and you can see if your phone has this blip just going on and on and on. This means you are rooting correctly and you're going to get the stock firmware soon on your phone. So you can see this is going to take a little bit of time. The system it is right now and one time it will be passed and I will tell you when to unplug and when not to unplug so watch carefully. So as you can see I have the pass and this means that I have successfully rooted if I mean flashed the firmware and just waiting for that Samsung logo and then you just take off the battery and put it back in again just wait for the Samsung logo it's passed as you can see here so my phone's done with this going through the firmware and just the Samsung logo comes I'll just take it off So just gonna take it off the battery and unplug it now I don't need it and this is done and just after 10-15 seconds you can big, uh, bring back the battery into this and I'll show you how the phone has rooted alright guys I'm done with the firmware update and just gonna open this now you to do two things just open it into the Android recovery mode And it's opening into the Android recovery mode. And just doing one thing. First, we'll go on to the wipe data and the factory reset. Pressing the lock key and delete all user data. On the complete. So now we're gonna go to the wipe cache partition, and it's done. So now the phone is booting for the first time after installing this firmware, which is the Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean OS, and it's gonna take a little bit of time because it's its first time. So the phone is done and I'm just showing to you the brand new OS onto the Samsung Galaxy Grand Phone. Just gonna choose the English of the United States and just gonna click on next. I'm not gonna insert the sim right now. Or not even. Put up the Wi-Fi and all that stuff. I'm just stick skipping everything right now. Okay, this device belongs to. I'm just not gonna type anything here. Skip this. Next. So here we go. We have the Samsung Galaxy brand running the Android 4.2.2, and it actually feels good to be back to this OS. But I don't actually like this OS. And that's the reason why I switched to back switched back to the previous OS that was the Android 5 and stuff. But those were more bad. 
I'm just gonna work for some f more days on this Android 4.2.2 and then again the stable version of Android 5 as you can see this is the Android 4.2.2 just gonna enable my developer and that's it just go on this is the Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean thanks everyone for watching if you like this video and, it, and if this helped you please leave a like button like to this video it really helps me grow my channel and I'll talk to you later